I got an early start. I'm not exactly sure what time that I have to be at Dick Sporting Goods in the morning, but it's probably gonna be real early. I'll probably be the only one to go because it's cold and it's a long wait. Uh, but I'll be going to Dick Sporting Goods because they are doing tickets for the Jordan 11 Cherries. I'll probably talk about that in this video. Um, but I don't know what time I have to be there because it's not confirmed by Dicks, but we have a leak that says it's happening tomorrow. So I'll be there in the morning. Normally the line is already 40 plus by the time they send out the official alert to everybody. So it's really no confirmation until you get to the store and actually talk to the people. They're a bit more lenient the day of versus the day before they'll, they'll just act completely clueless. And for the most part, I know at least in uh, in Jacksonville, we have like the regional store. So this is like the top store in the region for whatever reason. It's one guy who really who really does everything. And he, he's, he's pretty by the book, at least with me. So I'll be there in the morning. Uh, I started this off. I'm leaving one McDonald's. The line was like, the line looked like a Chick-fil-A line, but it was at McDonald's. So if you eat fast food, you know what that means. So I'm headed to another spot. And we'll see how that goes. We're going to grab us something to eat, man. All right. Everybody got their food. Kyrie sitting in the swing. Matt, he's sitting in the swing. Christopher watching this. You want some different sauce? Okay. I'll give him one. Here you go. You want to say hey? She said hey. I'm finna eat. This is Friday night look like. Hey, Kyrie. All right, it's the morning. We had a good night. Um, we just hung out. I did some cleaning on a few pair and I can see the line already. I'm pulling up the dicks. Uh, it's probably like 10 people or so. I got me a chair cause I ain't tripping like, like years in the past. Uh, yeah, about, about 10, 15 people. I right, call it a success. I didn't get my personal size, but I did get a good size. And the wristband, it was probably like three more behind me. It is what it is. It's like 20 people sleeping in a car and they only had 28 pair. Jeez, I feel bad for everybody who is in line behind me. They sat there the whole time. At least they could have let people know, hey, I, I got people sitting in the truck. That was pretty cap. You said they'll wait two, three hours. Then you you thinking you you good? You looking at everybody behind you like, oh man, tough for them, but it's really tough for you. And if I, they would have pushed me out of line, cause they got out the car, I would have said something. We all would have not been able to get no pairs, but that's two cap. But I'm not an advocate for them if it ain't an advocate for me. Let's head to the crib. I got another update. I got alerted that uh, there was still some more pair of lost and founds, so I went and picked those up. And now I'm headed home. I'm cutting off all notifications. I'm chilling for the rest of the day, probably the weekend. Um, I'll update y'all on a second on the restorations I started last night. I just did some cleaning to kind of assess um, any any further damage or uh, if it'll need to be a more extensive clean. So I'll show that and talk about these Cherry 11s.